ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, gentlemen and ladies, today is another episode of Kruger with a Thought, and today we're going to read the book, Another Wrestlemania, a bad one, and this time, it's the worst Wrestlemania of the Attitude Era, Wrestlemania 15. So, um, yeah, didn't like this one. It kind of showed why Vince Russo wasn't a good booker at all. But, you know, I hope this rebooking can... I hope it's, uh, you know, goes well and stuff. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just not talking well. But I think we can all... I think I can do this. And uh, since WrestleMania 33 is coming up, let's do this. Match number one. Bart Gunn versus Dr. Dev Steve Williams in a Lion's Den match. Now, the original match with Bart Gunn was Bart Gunn versus Butterbean, uh, the famous boxer, in a Brawl for All match at WrestleMania 15. It sucked. Okay, okay, it was terrible. Okay, it was it was a lot of bad things. And this has killed Bart Gunn's career. And it sucked. This was sort of like Bart Gunn's reward for winning the crappy Brawl for All. Just a terrible, just the most embarrassing, the most embarrassing, one of the most embarrassing WrestleMania matches of all time. So, I'm going to change it a little, I'm going to change a lot of it. No butter bean, no Brawl for All match at all. This, okay, so here's the, here's the story for, um, for my rebooking of of rebooking match uh, for Doctor Death and uh, Bart Gunn. See, Doctor. See, in nineteen ninety nine in Raw and Raw and one Raw, uh, Bart Gunn was fighting Hardcore Holly for the Hardcore for title, idol. And after that, he gets attacked by Doctor Death Steve Williams in a well in a Kabuki mask. Then, in another episode of Raw, he gets attacked by Dr. Def Steve Williams again. again. So Bart Gunn, sick and tired of this crap, crap decides uh, to settle the score with Dr. Def Steve Williams in a Lions Den match. Match. Anything goes. O's. So, the match could be like an intense, like, this really intense fight uh, with two really tough guys and just... You know, like, a lot of it, and just a lot of it could be, like, I want it to be entertaining. Like, a mat, like, a really fun match. S match that didn't ruin Bart Gunn's career. Match number two. The Corporation tests and draws versus Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett with Deborah for the WWF World Tag Team Champions belts. Um, okay, so... The original match was Test and D'Lo Brown versus uh, Jeff Jarrett and Owen Hart for the World Tag Team Championships. It's... Uh, can I admit that it sucked? See, how they built it up was that the wi the two winners of a Royal Rump in a Battle Royal in an episode of Sunday Night Heat get to face the tag team champions, which was Jared and, and Hart, and, God, this is like one of the, this is like, okay, this is so Vince Russo-ish, he couldn't find a good tag team, or a, a tag team to face them, so, uh, this is so goddamn stupid. Okay, so in the match, Test and D'Lo Brown were not getting along with each other and just ugh, not a very good match at all. Okay, so so I replace uh, D'Lo Brown with Draws and here's how the story actually works. The story is that, Dra Italy is that Draws is friends with Test and asks Test if he can join the corporation. So, Vince McMahon and Shane make a deal with Draws, is that if Draws can help them win a champion, if Draws can win a championship for the corporation, he will, he will, he will jo join them, and he decides the, the World Tag Team Championship. So, he asks Tess to be his partner, and, and, and they decide to face Owen and, o 
Owen and Jer and Jeff. Owen and Jeff agreed, and and this is how the match starts. Not the best story, I will admit, to come up with, but at least it's a much better reason for like Tess to go after the World Tag Team Championship than just than just a stupid brawl, than just a, winning a stupid battle royal. So. Uh, for the match, I think it could be like, let's say, uh, 10 minutes. Um, like, uh, I want to see these, these two teams at their best. Uh, so at the end of the match, draw, uh, j uh, draws, grabs, uh, Jared's guitar, hits him in the face, it hits him in the head with it, uh, pins, uh, draws, hits, uh, Jeff Jarrett in the face. Sorry, uh, draws hits Jeff Jarrett in the face, and like uh, pins uh, Jarrett one two three. They win the world tag team champ championships. So draws and Tess are your new tag team championships. They win. They win, and you know draws is now part of the corporation. Nations, what? Nation. Now in the heat. Now in the now in the heat edition. Now in the April fourth uh, Sunday night heat, heat um uh, draws and Tess lose the tag team championships to Jared and Jeff to to Jer to Jeff Jared and Owen Hart again. Uh, Tess and the other and the other members of the corporation beat beat the crap out of Draws and kick him out. This leads to the whole. This will lead to uh draw uh the introduction of of uh, uh, Prince Albert, aka Albert, and you know that's about it. Match number three, the Ministry of Darkness, which consists of the Acolytes, Bradshaw and Farouk, uh, Viscera and Midian, versus Team Bossman, which consists of the Big Bossman, Gilbert, and pu and the and Public Enemy. Okay, so I'm gonna give Big Bossman a different match because I'll talk about Big Bossman versus Undertaker. Later on when I rebook that match. So. Oh. And also I want to give the Ministry of Darkness their own. Like their own WrestleMania match. So here's what happens. Um. So. The Ministry of Darkness challenges Big Boss Man. Uh, Boss Man to assemble his own team to fit. In Lee. To fate. Which is. So Undertaker. The, the leader of the Ministry of Darkness. Uh, tells Big Boss Man that if he wants to beat his team beat his team he has to form his own team so big boss man man decides to pick pick public enemy and uh gilberg uh dwayne gill ill um aka dwayne gill um begs big boss man to be part of his team and big boss man at first doesn't want to but he has no choice so he does so he does does so does um um, so the mat so for this match I want to show uh, viscera the acolytes Midian uh, public enemy big boss man and, and Bill and like Gilbert at their best like Gilbert is not a jobber in this match he does land some hits here and there air and does us so with the ending match so with the ending match so how the match ends is that is that uh, like Gilbert quick pins Ron Simmons uh, one two three and um, and team and Big Boss Man's team wins. Match number four: Al Snow versus versus Road Dog versus Hardcore Ho Holly for the WWF Hardcore Championship in a Triple Threat Hardcore match. Now the original match was Al Snow versus. Mr. Ass Billy Gunn, who uh, versus Hardcore Holly in a triple threat match for the Hardcore Championship, and it wasn't good. So this match has a lot of stories. So here's what happened. See, a long time ago, Road. See, during during the night during like, sorry, during everything, Road Dog was going to go after the Hardcore Championship since. He never lost it and had to vacate the title. And Billy Gunn was after was after the IC title, which was the Intercontinental Championship. Well, since Vince Russo is kind of an idiot, 
Okay, he's a giant idiot. He, he switched the outlaws. Outlaws. So, now, Inley, on one of the episodes of, of Raw, Raw, Billy Gunn, on, uh, Road Dog won the IC title, and, and Billy Gunn won the Hardcore title. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch back to Road Dog. Switch back to Road Dog. Uh, became only Road Dog became the Hardcore champion, champion and being and Billy Gunn became became the IC champion back then. It makes more sense than this. So, anyways, ways, ways. So. Oh, Road Dog is the champion. Al Snow. Oh, Al Snow beats. So Al Snow is wants the championship back. You know, yada yada. Uh, and Hardcore Holly wants that belt really badly. So they fight to each other in an awesome. Like the original Triple Threat match was not good, and I want this one to be entertaining and fun and just show why the Hardcore Division was just an awesome idea. So the winner was a uh, hardcore Holly. He's the new hardcore champion, and and that's it. Match number five: Billy Gunn versus Val Venus versus Goldust versus the Blue Meanie in a fatal four-way match for the WWF Intercontinental Championship. Now the original match was. Road Dog, who was the IC champion, versus Ken Shamrock, versus Val Venus, versus Goldust, in a four corners elimination match for the IC championship. It wasn't good, and just it sucked. Now, I will give it credit that at least it had a good story, I think, but. Like I said, with the hardcore match, they switched the outlaws, meaning that uh, Billy Gunn was the hardcore champion and Road Dogg became the IC champion. Even though Billy Gunn wanted to be the IC champion, champion, and 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 Road and Road Dogg wanted to be the hardcore champion. Okay, this is so dumb. Hardcore champion, yeah, Vince Russo again. You know, thanks, Vince. So, anyways, uh, the story is that, see, Billy Gunn, Ken Shamrock, uh, Val Venus, and Goldust were all connected to, uh, Ken Shamrock's kayfabe sister, Ryan Shamrock. Because Ryan had a crush on, had a crush on Billy Gunn, she was the sister of Ken Shamrock, Amrock, Amrock, she was dumped by Val Venus, and she became the manager of Goldust. Not a bad idea. Much better. Better. But this is what happens. Since, so in my version, version, since Shamrock is facing somebody else, which we'll get to later, 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 the fourth person is the Blue Meanie, who in my version is the best, Illy, who is the best friend, Illy, who is the best friend of who is the best friend, uh, who is the best friend of Goldust, uh, who is the best friend of the Blue Meanie. See, Blue Meanie and Ryan's friendship was about Ryan motivating Blue Meanie to be his own worker, his own, like, instead of a manager. So here's the thing what hap happens is that, is that Billy Gunn wins the IC championship, Yep, and Ambiship and Val Venus and Goldust want, and Goldust wants his IC champion and wants to be an IC champion, and so does Val Venus. Yada yada yada. However, Blue Meanie is motivated and and challenges challenges Billy Gunn for that IC champion and challenges both Val and Goldust for it. All right, all right. Goldust at first is questioning it, but but Blue but Blue Meanie says. You're either with me or against me. You need to accept the fact that I want to win that IC championship. So Goldust agreed. Like, they still are friends, but no matter what. So, the thing is, 
We got we got the new IC champion versus the former champion versus the former champion versus the guy who was never the IC champion. For this match, I wanted to be a fun fatal four way match, and uh, at the ending, uh, Blue Nini uh, beats beats Billy Val and Gold and Goldie, and then and like, and then like she kicks and then like uh, Blue Nini kicks uh, Ryan Shamrock out. of... Out of him and Goldust's group. Group. Meaning that. Sh meaning that. So everything went back to. No so Blue Meanie is your new IC champion. I think Blue Meanie could be a good IC champion. Match. Number. Six. Mankind. A.K.A. Mick Foley. Versus the Big Show. In a hardcore mat match. Okay. Uh, the original Mankind versus Big Show match sucked. It, it this is easily one of Big Show's worst WrestleMania matches. Ugh. Let's just say, a I want that. See, the match was about who was going to be the special guest referee for the main event, but it never happened. So. Most of this match is a six-minute filler match, and I felt like what could have made this match better if it was a hardcore match, you know, like an entertaining hardcore match, and like, you know, to show these two at their fine best, you know, like, since, like, make this match fun and just entertaining the opposite of that match, you, you understand what I mean? All right. Match number seven. Kane with China. Oh yeah, by the way, uh uh Big Show wins the match. Uh match number seven. Kane versus Kane with China versus Triple H. Now the now Triple H versus Kane at WrestleMania was eh, it was eh. Not Triple H's best match though. I mean don't get me wrong, they tried to make this match good, but it just wasn't great, and, you know, it's just that I felt like, wh I think what, I think if any changes of a match, I just wanted to be entertaining, you know, like maybe a fun match, you know, have the same thing where, uh, China still betrays Kane, and, oh, spoiler alert, you know, about that, and, you know, every, you know, just keep it the same, you know, just keep it the same. No, don't keep it the same. Make the match entertaining. Just keep the betrayal the same. Match number eight. Gang Grill with Edge and Christian versus D'Lo Brown. Now, the story for this match is that Gang Grill... And the other members of the Ministry of Darkness tried to kidnap I Ivory Ivory and Deal and Deal Brown to you know to make a sacrifice and Deal Brown to try to protect her. And Gangrel does kidnap her or and send her to the boiling room. So the thing is, is that D is that Br is that Brown like finds Ivory but wants revenge on Gangrel. So he challenges Gangrel. To a match at WrestleMania, uh, for this match, you know, be entertaining. You know, um, I want it to be just a fun match because I think both these guys can have a great match. Also, at the end, like uh, Gangrel puts blood on D'Lo Brown and beats D and beats D'Lo one two three. Three. Winner Gangrel. Match number nine. The totally fabulous Sable. Versus Tori for the WWF Women's Title. Oh, this was not uh, the original match. It wasn't entertaining. It was slow and boring and just. Oh, uh, I mean, I love Sable, but man, this wasn't one of her, her best match. In fact, I think her her match, or like her match with Mark Merrow versus Goldust and Luna, was much better because at least it was entertaining. This match wasn't so. Uh, for this match, I wanted to be fun and just be an awesome women's match, and that's it. Uh, you know, Sable retains the title, and you know, and that's it. 
Um, match number 10. Oh, 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 sorry. I had to do the introduction. Um, sorry. Match number 10. X-Pac, a.k.a. Sean Waltman versus Shane McMahon with Test and draws for the WWF European Championship. Now, I'm going to keep this match the same. It's just I'm going to add draws Oz with Test, you know. But I really like this match. It's one of the it's one of Shane McMahon's best matches and it's one of the better and it's one of the one of two good matches of WrestleMania 15. So we're going to keep this match the same aim. It was just a really good match. It also showed why the European title was very important. And one day I hope they bring that title back. Match number 11. The Undertaker versus Ken Shamrock in a Hell in a Cell match. Okay. So the original match was Big Boss Man versus Undertaker in the Hell in a Cell match. It sucked. This is Undertaker's worst match. Yeah, I think it's worse than his match with with, Gi with Giant Gonzalez, a.k.a. El Gigante from WrestleMania 9. Yeah, I said it. Oh, this match was so boring. How could you make a Hell in a Cell match boring? Just... Okay, so... I replace it with. I replace Big Bossman with Ken Shamrock because I think Ken Shamrock would be a better opponent in the Hell in a Cell match. So, the story is that it's more like uh, it's Undertaker, like Undertaker is fighting for his team because they're because the Ministry of Darkness is having an issues with the corporation. So it's more of, you know, the corporation. It's more of. Ken Shamrock at first, like, representing the corporation, and he's fighting, you know, Ken, like, Ministry of Darkness Undertaker, Undertaker, and, you know, stuff like that, like, you know, Ministry of Darkness Undertaker, so it's more like, like, which representative will be, will beat them in the Hell in a Cell match, and, um, now, this match, I wanted to be opposite of that Big Boss Man Undertaker match. I wanted to be entertaining. I wanted to be fun. I wanted to be a fun Hell in a Cell match. Now, this thing... Now, even though Taker does beat Shamrock, this will lead... He still wants more of Shamrock. He still wants... He wants to make Shamrock miserable and, and eat and just... Ugh. He wants him... He wants... He still wants to make his life a living hell. You know, he still is this, like, he still wants to do that. So guess what happens? Happens. Like, like, he, like, he kidnaps Stephanie McMahon. He kidnaps his sister. And this leads to their backlash match. Even though Taker beat him at WrestleMania, he still wants more of, more of Shamrock's misery. So, uh, Undertaker wins and that's about it. And finally, match number 12 is the main event. The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, actually, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. Rock. It's one of three of their WrestleMania matches. Okay, this match was good. It was actually awesome, so keep it the same. Aim, and it was actually a really good main event. I actually love it. So keep it the same. And, wow... Man, this was fun. You know, this was a fun WrestleMania to rebook. So, you know, um, like always, uh, I hope you guys comment below. And I hope you guys have a fun time. And here's a note for advice to everybody who's in wrestling. Do not hire Vince Russo. Okay, bye.